Today is all about responsive font sizes. Unfortunately, none of the CSS units we use for font sizes are responsive on their own, so we have to come up with a modern CSS solution for it. First recommendation is don't use pixels and use rem instead. Rem is a relative unit that scales relative to the root font size, which is usually 16 pixels per default. But what do we do with big headings on small screens, especially when we want to avoid line breaks? That would take tons of media queries for all the different screen sizes where you have to apply a different font size to make it look good. Here's an idea to approach this, but be careful. You can use the viewport unit viewport width, for example, 10VW skates the font size to 10% of the viewport width. This works great for scaling headings relative to the screen size. However, there are three things you need to consider. First of all, big screens. On an ultra wide monitor, this heading will be way too big. The second thing is small screens. On a smartphone screen, this heading can get way too small. The best solution here is to use the clamp function. With clamp, you can provide three values, a minimum value, a preferred value, and a maximum value. So now the clamp function will always use 10 viewport width as long as our minimum or maximum value is not reached. But there's still one more problem. When clamp chooses to use 10 VW for the font size, then this size does not zoom with the rest of the page. The rest of the page can zoom, but not this heading. So to fix this, we have to combine VW with a zoomable unit, like rem for example. For that, I use the calc function in CSS. I calculate 7VW plus 1 RAM. This way, the font size scales with the viewport and also responds to user zooming. Watch the full video linked below to learn all of that and more.